This is how I'm going about making the green alien hat and what I've done is I have combined four strands of green and a strand of the gray grayish fur yarn and earlier on I did some white I didn't have a whole lot of white so it just kind of made it thicker at the base which is okay but you can do white all the way up you can do white and gray or you can do just white or you can do just gray um, we're just trying to add some hair to the base of the hat and I've done it flat and I'm using a 44 peg loom and it doesn't really um, because it's flat you can choose to use whatever loom you can find that's 44 pegs okay so what I've done is I've done an e-wrap cast on and then I've e-wrapped a row and then I purled a row and I did that with just the green and then that's when I added the fur and so if you're wondering the green I'm using I'm using the Heartland Lions brand and in fact all of these yarns are Lions brand and so I'm using the Heartland Lions brand and it's the color Joshua Tree and what I did was bought two skeins and I'm pulling from the outside strands and I went digging for the inside strands so I'm pulling from the inside and the outside of two skeins to create four that way you can save yourself the money and just buy two skeins rather than just buying you know four so um, that's how I'm going about it and it should be a total of 16 rows from first e-wrap here all the way up so it's e-wrap pearl and then e-wrap the rest of the way up for 16 rows now what we're fixing to do is similar to the realistic owl hat and the dragon hat and that we need to do like a heel area on the back of the head to create an indention to fit at the crown of the head and my loom is divided the same it's dividing four count over how many times the how many pegs the fourth of uh, all the pegs is put a marker in between right there and do it on both sides which divides it in half and this is your back half and this is your front half so what we're going to do now that we've done our 16 rows is we're going to do something very similar to the dragon and the realistic owl hat and what we're going to do is we're going to do a wrap and turn section so this is how you're going to do it so you're going to e-wrap all the way over to the other side just before this marker here so just before that marker right there okay Move the camera up a little bit there we go okay so just go ahead and ear wrap all the way over Okay, stopping just before that peg, which is the marker, the back half. So then we're going to toss all the loops over from there back. okay and now we're going to do a series of wrap and turn so you're going to wrap and turn 
that next peg and then you're going to e-wrap all the way back to the other side gen stopping just before the marker okay there's our marker so we're going to stop right at that right at that one and go ahead and toss the loop over okay and make sure you don't toss that first wrap and turn on over on this side don't don't toss that over okay now you're gonna e you're gonna wrap and turn the next peg which is your marker peg and then you're gonna e wrap to the other side until just before your last wrap and turn okay there's your last wrap and turn and we're stopping just before it on this peg we're going to toss the loops over from here on over and so we're going to keep doing this technique of wrap and turn until we have okay and then don't toss that wrap and turn over so you're going to keep going back and forth you're going to keep going back and forth until you have 14 pegs with a single loop in between wrap and turn loop and between the wrap and turn pegs. So keep going back and forth and wrap and turn until you have 14 pegs in between the wrap and turns that have single loops on them. Let's go ahead and pause the video and complete up to here and then we'll go from there. Okay, I have completed that and if you notice there isn't that much hair straggling through. If you want to let the hair come through more you just scrape over your hook or you can take a comb later on and you just scrape it over the section with the fur and it starts pulling all that through which is how you get that effect so that just kind of pulls through anything that's sticking through there so I've completed that and at this point I am going to be changing up what I'm doing. I've already snipped my fur end and I'm tying them off because I don't want to do any more with the fur. I'm done with it. And at this point I am going to start adding back in my wrap and turn rows and you should have four wrap and turns on each side so there's wrap and turns there's four there get that further there's four wrap and turns there and four wrap and turns here so what I'm going to do is start adding the wrap and turns back in so I'm going to purl my first one I'm going to e wrap five, two, three, four, five. Toss the bottom loops over. Now, if you don't want to go with all this counting that I'm fixing to do, you can just e wrap back and forth, adding your wrap and turns back in, and go from there. But I'm doing a texture on the top, so you're going to purl two. You e wrap five, so there's one, two, e wrap five, one, two, three, four, five, then I'm going to purl the next one. And then I'm to my first wrap and turn. And I'm actually going to purl both of them together and then off. Now, 
Now we're going to go back direction we came and we're going to purl the one we just did. We're going to purl again. E wrap five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to purl two. Here at five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and you're going to purl that one, and then you're going to purl your next wrap and turn together, right here. I'm going to purl that together. Make sure you get all four strands in there. Okay, and go back the direction we came. I'm going to purl two. You're at five. Pearl two. You're at five. And you're gonna continue this from this point on out with where the pearls are and then everything else is going to be ear wrap. So, pearl, pearl, and then you're going to e wrap the next wrap and turn. Toss both loops over. Then you're going to e wrap it, and then you're going to continue the pattern pearl, pearl, e wrap five, pearl, pearl, e wrap five pearl, pearl, and then you're going to e-wrap your wrap and turn, and at this point you're just going to e-wrap your wrap and turns back on while continuing to keep with your pearl, pearl, five, pearl, pearl, five, until you get all your wrap and turns done. So all your wrap and turns are now going to be e-wraps at this point that you have left, and making sure to keep with the pattern that have the two pearls in between the fives here in the middle. So go ahead and finish that and we should be finishing on this side and then we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and pause the video and complete this pattern. Okay, I've just completed all my wraps and turns. They're gone and if you look at this you'll see a ridge here that you continued and a ridge there and a ridge there so and you should have a nice curvature starting right here so we've just finished the back half of the hat 
Now we're fixing to start the front half, which is where all the character of this hat goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish this row out. So we're right here. So we're just going to e-wrap the rest of the way back. Now we're going to do a little bit of what I call a cheek area. And this is how we're going to do it. We're going to skip this first peg. We're going to e-wrap back to this marker point right here. So, e-wrap to the marker. and toss the loop over okay then we're going to e-wrap back and we're going to stop just before that last peg so we're going to go back that direction and stop just before the last peg and toss loops over Skip the peg there, skip your second one, so you should have two that you're skipping, and e wrap back to your marker. Then e wrap to the third one over from the end. And stop there, toss your loops over. Then you're going to skip those first three there and go and e wrap back. To your marker point over here. Okay, then you're going to e wrap to the fourth peg over. There's your fourth peg over. Okay, you're going to skip those first four and e wrap back. Okay, this is our cheek area that we've just done. Now we're going to go back around and we're going to go all the way around to the other side and we're going to repeat this cheek area over here. But you got to remember that you're going to be actually purling the back half here. So you're going to Purl from this marker to this marker, and then e-wrap the rest of the way back here, and then you're going to repeat the cheek area. So, purl from purl the back half, e-wrap to the end, and then start your short rows to create your cheek area. So go ahead and pause the video and complete that, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I've done my cheek area on the other side. You can see that kind of puffy area right there. Next, we're going to work our way over to the other side so that we can work our eye area. And what we're going to do, starting from this marker here, is we're going to purl two. There's one, two, 
two. Then we're going to ear up three. Pearl two. And you're going to want to remember this pearl two knit three, e thread, e wrap three, because this is going to be your texture for the next several rows for the back half of the um, loom, which is the back half of the head. So pearl two. A wrap three Pearl two. Pearl two. You could say that this is the forehead area that we've just started doing right here with the pearl two e wrap three. Okay, next is going to be our eye area. So we've just done our cheek right here, and next we want to do our eye area, and this is where it can kind of get tricky. So what I'm going to do is e wrap to my starting point so I can just e wrap to my starting point now what we're going to do is we're going to um, what I call increase by five over onto the other side but we're going to need to keep in mind we're not going to touch these original pegs on these on this side so what we're going to do is we're going to e wrap over six so there's three four five six now we're going to push those down and we're going to e wrap all the way back to our marker over here. So remember, we're not tossing the original loops over on this side. If we do, then we screw up what we're doing with the hat because this is a separate piece that we're working with. So, trying to make sure that I don't knock the bottom loops over on that side. And I'll just go ahead and e wrap back over to here. Okay, this is going to be our first row on starting the eye section. And what we're going to do is we're going to do three rows and then we're going to do an internal decrease. And I'll explain how that works. And now we're going to e wrap row two here. And tossing only the loops we created over. Don't toss those original loops over here, over. You do, you'll connect your cheek area to the middle of your eye area. We're gonna ear at back, which will make row three. 
and then we're going to do an internal decrease. And I'll be honest, the eye area is one of the more technical areas of this style hat that I tend to do. And I could not simplify it in any other way. It is just going to be that kind of, of a challenge. It's one of those areas I messed with and messed with on this kind of design. Okay, so you're going to take and move every other loop over. To the next peg. At this point, you'll want to e wrap all the pegs that have a loop, loops on them. Okay, and on these overlappings, make sure you don't get the original loops. There. Make sure they're nice and separated. Okay. Okay, at this point you're going to want to bring your loops together, so I'm just going to temporarily hold them on my hook. So I'm going to lift them off and put them on the hook. And then we're just going to move them over. And we're going to put them right beside each other. And we're going to kind of snug up those loops a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to e wrap for three rows. So here's row one. And then row two. And then row three. Okay, and again we're going to do an internal decrease, so we're going to take that end loop, move it over one, and just keep moving those over, and then you're going to just e-wrap every peg with loops on them. Just lift up the loops and place them right beside each other. Like that. Go in and snug the loops up. Decrease by one on each side. And 
and you're going to wrap those. Then you're going to wrap for two rows. And then you're going to decrease again down to one. And toss all three loops over. And wrap again. Toss. Snip your ends. And there is your eye area that you've just completed. Now what you're going to do is I like to do a slip stitch. Is you're going to you kind of have to e-wrap that one for now. Okay, at this point you're going to do the pearl because that first one was supposed to have been a pearl. Okay, and then you're going to e-wrap three. And you're going to do that all the way to the other side until you get to your other marker. And then you're going to repeat this eye area just like we just did. And it'll be easier because you're not contending with your original loops over here. So go ahead and do your ear up three, pearl two, ear up three, pearl two over to here. And then when you get to here, start your eye. Go ahead and ear wrap over and then ear wrap six and then do three, decrease, internal decrease and so forth. So go ahead and pause the video and complete your eye section and then we will go from there. I've completed the other eye. So both eye sections are completed and now we're fixing to need to go in and start adding back in those pegs so that we have an eyebrow. So go ahead to start working back in. I've done a slip knot like I did on the other side and we'll just kind of toss that one over for now but it'll be purled the next time we come around. So what you're going to do is you're going to do your purl 2 and ear up 3 all the way around. Okay, at this point, we're going to cast back on all the way to our starting point over here. So we're just going to ear up. Now the front half is going to be ear up, and the back half is going to be the Pearl 2 ear up 3 technique. Okay, so we're going to go back the direction we came. Then we're to the back half, so we're going to purl two, you wrap three. Okay, and then K 
cast on all the way to the other side. Okay, and then you're going to purl to e wrap three, purl to e wrap three over to here. Then you're going to e wrap all the way to the end. You're going to e wrap back, do your pattern that you do here, and then e wrap back to here. So go ahead and finish this row and complete one more row of a straight e wrap to the front, pattern back here, it's the purl to e wrap three and then the e wrap over here. So go ahead and finish this, these two rows, and then I'll show you what you want to do next. Okay, we've done that row, and now what we want to do is we're going to start decreasing on the ends. And so I'm going to decrease by one on each side. And then I'm going to continue the pattern I'm doing, except on this row, the back half between these two markers, I'm going to purl. To start breaking, doing that breakup like I have through here. You'll see I have a breakup. We're going to do another breakup through here. So. Um, go ahead and e wrap. You're e wrapping the markers from the front half, and then you're doing that technique from the back. So now we're just going to purl all the way over. On the back half. Okay, and e wrap the rest of the way over. And then you're going to decrease on each side again, and you're going to continue decreasing every single row on each side. And again, you're going to be e wrapping from this section over to that marker. And then when you get to the back half, you're going to go back to your purl 2, e wrap 3, purl 2, e wrap 3. And you're going to do that for five rows. And on the fifth row, you're going to do like we just did. You're going to e wrap. I mean, you're not going to e wrap. You're going to, you're going to purl this back half. So every fifth row, you're going to purl this back half. And then every row, and then Every five rows in between that, you're going to do the purl two, e wrap three. And all the while, you're decreasing through here. And then once you get past the marker and you're decreasing, just keep with that pattern. And you want to keep decreasing until you're down to eight pegs. So when you're down to eight pegs, then you'll stop and then we'll go from there and create the nose and then we are on the downhill end of our pattern. So go ahead and pause the video and continue. Remember in the front half of this marker it's always e wrap. Back here every fifth row has this purl and every row in between that fifth row is purl 2, e wrap 3. And you'll continue the purl 2 and e wrap 3, just making sure where your purl is and where your e wrap is when you start decreasing into this area. So just keep in mind where your e wraps and your purls are. But you're going to continue that pattern and you'll see it through here. So go ahead and pause the video and complete that until you're down to eight pegs with loops on them. Now, when you've gone in and you went down to eight pegs, 
this is from here all your decreasing is going to be like a a veer down triangle and when you get down to those eight pegs you're going to purl a row of eight e wrap a row of eight purl a row of eight and then e wrap four rows and cast off and that's what finishes the base of the hat now I've already done one half of the hat. I've added the ear. I've sewn the eye area together and I've added the eyeball. So what I'm going to do is show you how to sew up the base of the hat so that we can continue on adding the ears and the eyes and showing you how to make the eyes. So what we're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to put it at the very base right here. So I'm going to string that end in. And string it in there. And then we're going to do a little bit of what I call gathering. Tie that. And the reason what we're doing with the gathering is we're going to have it puffy right through here to make it rounder. So now that we've closed that off, what you're going to do is go in and weave in and out of your cast on over here. And you're going to pull that in like that and you can see that rounds it off. Now you're also going to gather this section right here where the cheek is. So you're going to gather two sections and this will puff up the cheek more to gather in this section as well. Gather that up and then you can tie off Okay, next is sewing this down and you're going to fold it over and you're going to start off at the base and you're going to sew all the way down to where it becomes a straight line from tip to here. So go ahead and start sewing that in. Okay, there's that. Now, because this is generally your halfway point in here, what I do is I take my strands that I cast it off from here and I tie it together here and then sew it in. So, Go ahead and tie that off. And then you'll go back up and sew it back up that way. Following that base line right there that you just sewed, you're going to sew that in. And then you're going to take the other half here and you're going to sew it straight down. And that completes sewing in your eye area to where it looks like this. 
Now, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to do the ear next. So, we're going to move on to my 15 peg loom, but you can continue using the original peg loom that you are doing. You just need 15 pegs because this is flat. Now, this is going to change a little bit on each ear. So, I've already done an ear wrap cast on and I've already done five rows and it's flat. And I'm to the point where I'm going to start decreasing. With one ear, you're going to be decreasing from one side, and on the other ear, you're going to be decreasing from the other side. I've already done an ear where I've decreased on this side. Now I'm going to go in and decrease from this side. So how you want to do that is you want to take that end loop and move it over. It's the same number of no rows and everything, you're just decreasing from a different side. So go ahead and e-wrap all the way around. Then you're going to e-wrap a row after you've done that first decrease. Then you're going to decrease again on this side only, on this ear. And we're creating a particular angle. Yes, it's still a triangle, but it's not a perfectly even triangle on both sides. One side's going to have more um, length to it than the other. Okay, so e-wrap all the way around. And then we're going to e-wrap a row. Okay, and then we're going to decrease. And then you're going to e-wrap a row, and this is your last row to do a regular e-wrap between your decrease. After this row, we'll be decreasing for every single row until you're down to one peg. Okay, at this point, you're going to be decreasing every single row on this side over until you get down to one peg. So go ahead and pause the video and complete this ear, complete the decrease on every single row down to over here until you get down to one peg and then cast it off. And then you want to do the other ear and instead of decreasing from this side around, you're going to decrease from this side around. And keep in mind it's the same number of rows. So go ahead and pause the video and complete your ears. And then I'll show you how to sew your ears on. As for your eyes, you're going to take a, I would say that's an inch in diameter bobble eyes because you see it moves. So you'll take an inch in bobble eyes and then you're going to do an inch and a half foam paper that's bigger than the eyeball and you're going to glue it lower on the on the foam and then what I've done is I've hot glued a chain around the bottom a chain of the green and then what I did was do a I cord of three pegs 
and I did eight rows and then I cast it off to I decreased it to a single and then cast it off and then I hot glued it over and as you can see it overlaps in the back the ends do and this achieves an eye that looks bigger without being bigger and you can see how it looks and it has a an effect to it that looks wise so we're going to go ahead and go about finishing this up and we will go from there so go ahead and pause the video and make your eyes and then we'll go from there I have finished sewing up the eye area and everything and I finished doing my ears and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the ears with the negative side facing out and the positive side facing in and then what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is take the crochet hook and pull the tail end just part of that because I did four strands I'll pull just two through and this will keep the shape long enough for me to sew it on so I'll tie it off okay and I'm gonna go in and tuck those tuck this end in the ends in through here so now that I've got that done I'm going to show on the other side where I attached it and you'll see I attached it at the top of the cheek right behind it so we're going to do the same thing we're going to go over here and we're going to go to the top of the cheek and we're going to attach it and so I'm going to attach it using my extra strands And then you can go in and tie it off. And that gets it generally locked down where you want it. Okay. Now, you're not going to sew it flat like that. You're going to sew it a little open so that you have a nice cone shape, a, a very ear cone shape rather than it's flat because what we're doing is a very dimensional hat it's not flat so I've got a needle already set and ready and I'm going to push it up through here I'm going to go ahead and start sewing my edges down around it And so you're just going to sew it on. Again, you're not sewing it flat because you're wanting to create a cone area so that it gives it more dimension. Since we've done a very dimensional hat here, so... send it back through the base and you tie it off and we are almost done at this point you just want to tie it off go ahead and snip off all your extra ends okay and the last thing after you tuck in your ends is gluing in your eyeball okay 
and we're just going to apply glue all around the back of this. You're going to look at this and you're going to go slightly just below there and over. So you're just below your mark there and over and smash that in nice and flat. And trust me, I've used high temp hot glue to glue these in. It's going to stay. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. So after you tuck your ends in, and you'll notice there's a little curling back here, you can go in and crochet an edge where you can tighten that up so it doesn't curl so much. And if you want it a little less space in here, you can sew the nose together on the ends. There you go, you're done with, and that's it.